Welcome back to Sketchy Micro, this is Saud. In this video, we'll be covering Proteus Mirabilis. When you hear the word Proteus, you may think of Proteus, the Greek god of the sea. Well, Proteus would be a god in our story too, but he's going to be the god of the public restroom. Before we draw, let's go over some key points. First of all, Proteus is a gram-negative facultative anaerobe and demonstrates swarming motility when plated. Proteus may also be described as having a fishy odor. Proteus is a common cause of urinary tract infections, and what's high yields about this is that it is urease positive. What does this mean? It means that Proteus can break down the urea in our urine into ammonia and carbon dioxide. This ammonia then alkalizes the urine and results in struvite stone formation. Note that examiners may not give you the word struvite, but may simply refer to them as ammonium magnesium phosphate stones. Kidney stones may cause difficulty urinating in patients. Any type of stone formed by infection can also grow quickly and become a staghorn calculi. These are large stones that take the shape of the renal pelvis. Finally, to treat proteus infections, sulfur drugs are commonly used. Let's start sketching this out to help you remember what we just taught you. Let's start off by drawing Proteus, the god of the public restroom. We'll draw him as half man and half octopus, with swarming tentacles to remind us that Proteus demonstrates swarming motility. Next, we're going to draw stag horns on his head to remind us of staghorn calculi formation. To remember that Proteus is urease positive and that it produces ammonia in the urine, we're going to equip our restroom god with an ammonia spray bottle. He uses a spray bottle to keep the restrooms clean. The restroom god hates when people come in and urinate after he's been doing so much cleaning. To fend them off, he throws rocks at them while they're at the urinals. These stones will remind you of the kidney stones that Proteus can create. The stone throwing makes the person urinating nervous and makes it hard for them to pee. This reminds you that examiners may include difficulty urinating when describing Proteus urinary tract infection symptoms. Now we'll surround Proteus with fish. This will remind you that Proteus may be described as having a fishy odor. Lastly, we'll put a rotten egg here. This will be our symbol for sulfur drugs because rotten eggs have a sulfur-like smell. Use this to remind you that Proteus is treated with sulfur drugs. We hope this lesson will help you remember these key features of Proteus Mirabilis. Follow us on Twitter and visit our website to stay updated and to download the PDF of this sketch. We'll be sure to follow your comments on YouTube as well to make sure we know what we're doing right and what we can improve upon.